So in today's installment of Getting Political with Haz, we're going to be talking about various social media platforms. Why? Because they're bullshit. They've been known to be banning people for no good reason at all, other than they're a bad image. Now, a few people that come to mind easily is um, Monkey Jones and Leafy is Here. Leafy is Here was basically banned for making videos on Pokimane, while Monkey Jones was banned for doing Elliot Roger videos where he would make fun of the killer and just laugh at him right the whole point was to poke fun of you know this one guy who's a loser right the whole point is to point out his flawed logic his his dumb thinking and all that but they banned him because it's a bad look even though you know these news companies already you know posted videos where they read out the manifestos or even show killings in fact one of the videos that was taken off of youtube was a reading of the Elliot Roger manifestos. And if you go search up Elliot Roger, my twisted world, there's plenty of them. There's plenty of them on YouTube. And it's, it's clear it was just a targeted attack against them, right? Now again, you YouTube is a private company. They can do whatever, right? That's the main argument. They can do whatever they want. But then they 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 have people like Jake Paul or Toddy Westbrook where they lied about sex uh, someone sexually assaulting someone, which I think is a very terrible thing to do, and I'm pretty sure it's a very illegal thing to do. And yet they're still here. In fact, Logan Paul literally recorded a dead body, something that that was ten times as worse as what these other people did. And his YouTube show still got out. Like, I, I'm so confused. I'm, I'm, where's the consistency here? And it's not only relegated to YouTube. Let's talk about Twitch. Twitch, we all know, they're not very consistent, right? Alinity has proven that. Alinity threw a cat and this one guy in the same time frame, right? Keep in mind, this was like around the same time. This guy was holding a fish. The fish fell out of his hand and he was banned from Twitch for animal abuse. While Alinity threw his cat and kissed his cat and put vodka in his mouth. Now there's a, a more recent example that I really want to bring up that will probably help my point out. And that is Destiny. Now, if you guys don't know who Destiny is, he's a liberal streamer on Twitch. And that's not to say he's, he's not an idiot, right? I'm, I'm sure he has like tons of bad takes. Right, but um, in this one take, he was arguing about the transgender sports debate, where the transgender should be able to compete with other females in sports. And this other transgender took that very um, personal, and and for good reason, right? That, that that's her life, right? I'm not gonna say you know which side is right or which wrong, which one is wrong, because I'm not here to do that, right? I'm not here to give out my political opinions. Okay, I am here to give out my political opinions, you know, this is political with has, but I'm not I'm not here to give out my stance on that, right? All I'm going to say is that both sides have some good points and none of them, none of them are not valid, right? However, Kiffles, who is the transgender in this one argument between Destiny and her, um, she, however, does not think the same thing and thinks only one argument is the correct one, which is her argument and does not want to listen to the other side. So, um, so she goes and literally lies about destiny saying that he, he stealths someone. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, he stealths people, which is legitimately a form of rape. <laughs> Insane. Insane shit. Isn't that what, wait, I don't know if he, if he did it. Wait, backing up. I don't actually know if he did it, but he argued that it is not a form of rape and that you shouldn't have sex with a woman who um, isn't mature enough to tell that someone would do that to them. So like literally- Which it never happened. And then when Te Destiny replied, she said that she was getting bullied by Destiny and tried to get her banned, get Destiny banned, right? And succeeded Destiny's banned now because of that. He was banned for being transphobic. Now, why do I bring this situation up in specific? Because recently, um, a little YouTuber known by the name of H3H3 went live and threw some very, very questionable jokes. The jokes in question are homophobic. Now, I will be playing it, so if... I guess discretion, I don't really care. You know, it's it's the fucking internet. You're, if, if you're here and, like, not expecting to see, like, some fucked up shit, then you're probably stupid or something, I don't know. We were saying, well, if he's getting blasted in the ass hard enough, potentially, <laughs> you may need to wear a diaper. And a lot of you will say, like, okay, we've had a debate, like, I don't think vaginas increase in size from sex, but assholes actually do. If you have a lot of anal sex, That's you can true. actually blast open your anus. Do you think it's hard for a straight person to understand how it feels to always have people define you by how you prefer sex? Is that a valid criticism? 
No, I'm so fucking frustrated with these people. Get the fuck out! Just so wait, what the was I? Where did I even? Do you think some of y'all are way too fucking sensitive you know? for the show to be? Just to be totally honest, like people in this thread who are saying they're grossed out and whatever. I think you're really. I think this with peace and love, you might be too sensitive to watch this show. If you're watching this show and you're perpetually offended by things I'm saying, you may want to just stop watching. Like genuinely, like it is does get annoying with some of y'all getting offended all the time. Come on, you talk. Now there wasn't all of it. The full thing is seven minutes long. Um, I'll link it in the description so you guys can you know make your own character analysis or whatever, or, or judge them based on hit you know, based on what you've seen, right? Personally, I'm not here to do that, right? I don't really care about what jokes he made. All I care is that he made them. Now, why is that a point? Um, well, H3H3 H3 has known to be very hypocritical. A very notable example is during the PewDiePie situation where PewDiePie said the N-word, right? He said the N-word and H3H3 H3 got mad at him and criticized him for it. But then a couple, you know, years before he was on a podcast with iDubs and has said the N-word multiple times on that one, I don't think Felix is a racist person, but god damn, he really kind of just was really comfortable using that word. <laughs> Nigger faggot whore. <laughs> it's a wonderful, it's just a wonderful string of words that really gets you going. Which again, hypocritical, right? There's times where where people assumed his video was trying to blame the death of Etika on Keemstar, so people called him out for that. And he said, no, my the point of the video wasn't to call him out. And then a year later, I'm pretty sure it was a year later, he said he he, he straight up didn't, you know, walk around. He, he basically said Keemstar did kill Etika. And I'm just saying, you it's look so... at his interaction with this dude, Etika, and his history of using and abusing people with mental illnesses. And the t you should see the tweets he's made about how mental he's literally tweeted. Mental illnesses are made up just to get just to, for <gasps> people to get attention. Like he doesn't believe mental illnesses. I did not tweet that phrase. I have had bad takes on mental health, which I've acknowledged publicly because I just didn't know no enough about it. Um, and, and I've changed my opinions and I apologize for some of those takes, but le let's continue. Right. So this guy has no consistency whatsoever in his life. Well, it turns out um, Ethan Klein has called out people before for being homophobic or for saying jokes that are out of line and which is, you know, very much my point of like contention here. Right. Well, how is he going to make these jokes when he himself has tried to, you know, put people or actually get people banned for making similar types of jokes or if not, you know, the less worse jokes. Right. Um, more of a commentator. Commentator. So he he tweeted out this clip. I understand why Valorant cues are so unbelievably toxic. You got one of the most popular streamers on YouTube, I show speed, saying crap like this and getting nothing but praise and laughs. Crap is whack. I think he's he's right. You he should be calling out this kind of behavior. Obviously, it's going to have an influence on the game and the players. So I think he did the right thing, calling this out. You know, bring it to people's attention. Went super viral though, 185,000 likes. Yeah, and, and that clip just came out today, like, or not today, but like as of the time recording this today, right? He released that, and it's crazy that he did, because even in the in the fucking like video, in the sense, he, he makes so much fucking contradictions. I think he actually said it really good. It's like Keemstar's attack on people is always like, well, you did this thing in the past, and. He even said the last two people on Earth, and we had to reproduce to make the world continue. No, um, reproduce with me. No, because that means our kids will have to intertwine, and then their kids. No. Who gonna stop me? Uh, to put it on top of the cake, let me let me put the picture in your mind. Twitch banned someone because they think that um, transgender should not, you know playing a sports right in an actual like political opinion that has some substance behind it and they banned him for being transphobic and then you have people like ethan klein where they're able to joke around like that in, fa in fact some of the stuff that even hassan says should be like looked at but yet nothing happens to them because they have a good image i and, and i also want to remind you of that one time there was this one twitch streamer and what they did is they tweeted out a shooting threat towards the twitch headquarters like literally the twitch headquarters and then she got unbanned an actual threat towards twitch and they unbanned this one girl twitch i would love to see some consistency in your platform i would love to see you know a a nice and fair moderator team so i guess all i have to say is 
do better.